Hey everyone, Marvel Studios have dropped trailer of another movie that will be coming out this year, sequel to The Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I hope you all remember the Wasp suit teased in the end credit scene of Ant-Man. Yeah, I know it was yellow and more close to the comic book look of Wasp. This one is pretty different and looks quite similar to the one Ant-Man already has. Now let's step onto the trailer and break it down without wasting any time. If you're here for the first time, please hit subscribe and the bell icon so that you never miss a video. So the first scene shows us Paul Rudd aka Scott Lang, his character name. You know who it is, right? So he's asking his partner Hope Pym aka The Wasp, played by Evangeline Lilly, that if he would have asked her to come along when Cap needed help, would she have come? To which she answers quite cleverly. I guess we'll never know. But if you had, you'd have never been caught. Also, you can see the clips of Captain America Civil War when Cap recruited him. It's difficult to forget actually. Throw it at this. Now! Oh, come on! Oh man, I thought it was a water truck. Uh, sorry. In the next scene, we see him and his house being searched by FBI and he's like, I do dumb things and people I love pay the price. At the same time, we see him meeting his daughter. Then Hank Pym and his daughter Hope are surrounded by the FBI and we don't have to wait long enough to get the answers of why FBI is following them. Do some dumb things and the people I love the most, they pay the price. Thanks to you, we had to run. We're still running. Let's go. This was the best scene of the trailer. They have been running because he broke the law while teaming with Cap against their courts and therefore anyone who supports them is a wanted man. Also, Hank Pym's success in creating Ant-Man and Giant-Man must have triggered that too because he is no normal guy at all. He was the first Ant-Man after all. Holy shit! <laughs> Coming back to this awesome scene, Hank Pym shanks his entire building and moves it along with him so that no one can get hands on any of his tech. After that, we get a glimpse of a lab and a machine lying over there. I'll get back to it in a minute. And what seems to be the same lab, we see an armor or a person in an armor himself or I should say herself. My guess is that this is a villain ghost, not an actual ghost, a character played by Hammer John Kamen. The character is going to be quite different from the comic version of it because in comics, Ghost was a male and was known with that name because of the special armor he made by himself. Then we see Lawrence Fishburne. The character he is playing is Dr. Bill Foster. In comics, he was Hank's lab assistant and a co-worker. Let's see if it stays the same way in the movie. Also, he goes with the name of Black Goliath in the comics, a giant man who has fought along with the Avengers. Yes, another superhero, but let's see what the movie will deliver with Bill Foster. Hank Pym's van is then followed by some guys who are not at all FBI. Look for yourself. Another amazing scene, looks like Pym's tech is all around his stuff. After that, we get a good look at Ghost's armor. In comics, he could become intangible and invisible at his own will. Then finally a glimpse of my most awaited character. Lois, played by Michael Pena. I'm waiting for his storytelling. Then the scene pops up. You remember I said I'll talk about the machine lying over in a minute? Well, this is it. It's the exact machine if you look clearly. And it seems to be in the microverse. We did see some part of the microverse in Ant-Man 1. So my guess, and it's a complete guess, that they actually built something to go into microverse. Maybe in search of Hank's wife, Janet. After that, we see the Wasp kicking out some guys. Whereas Scott's daughter is telling him that you need someone to watch your back. Don't worry kid, he has got someone now. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. And the moment she spreads her wings out, Scott is like, Hold on, you gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me. No, I did. Another awesome trailer from Marvel. While there are still some cast who weren't seen in the trailer, but it had so much already. Also, I think its storyline is based after the events of Civil War. 
I think that was the reason they started the trailer by showing some clips of it. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the events of this movie. Will it be after Civil War or after Avengers Infinity War? Also tell me how did you find the Wasp new suit to be? I've also done some Black Panther videos and Infinity War videos. Do check them out. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.